Ski! Welcome back to the channel, Sani Squad. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. How y'all doing? I'm Sani, and this is Sani Kicks. And in today's video, I'ma actually switch things up a little bit. I'ma show y'all some of the best ways to lace up your earphone posit one. And after that, I'ma show y'all how I would personally rock this shoe. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So getting right to it, I'ma show y'all how to do my favorite lacing style first, which is the loosey goosey and let's get into it. I'm gonna start from scratch, that way you can see the entire process. So for the laces, how you do it is make sure that they are completely straight. You're going to put it through this hole right here that's in the front. Now once they're even, you're going to put the shoelaces over and under. And once you have it like this, for the rest of the way, you are going to go under, over. And I forgot to mention this, but make it fairly loose as well. And I'm gonna stop them at this eyelet right here. Now, all I gotta do is fix it up. And by the way, this is like the desired length for the laces to hang, like at the middle point. So once it's there, go ahead and fix up the rest of the laces. That way you have a clean overall look. Pretty sure I'm done with that. So yeah, that's how you do it, the loosey goosey. Next up, I'm gonna do another very simple option that a lot of people like to do, and it's going to be a tuck. So at that same eyelet, I'm gonna remove the lace because I'm gonna go over, under for that final spot. And that's all there is to it. Just tuck the lace. Same thing to the other side, over, under. Boom, there it is, very simple. For anybody that wants a clean look but doesn't want to tie the shoe, there you go.
Next up is a regular tie. So I'm going to undo what I just did for the tuck and I'm gonna put it back to how it was for the loosey goosey in terms of the top lace, not the entire shoe. And once the laces are even, go ahead and tie them up. Now, if the laces are a bit too long for your liking, go ahead and just loosen up the rest of the shoe. Okay, this is a lot better. Very nice and even. Loosen that up a little bit. A regular tie with a little bit of finesse at the top, but nothing else to it. Fresh and clean. Now last up is the dead stock knot. So from here, you're going to make sure that the laces are even. Use one finger to grab the laces at the bottom. Do a 360. Take these laces, swing them to the front. Once you have it as such, remove your finger out of the, out of the lace hole, but keep your other fingers here to hold it open. And with the laces, at the same time, put them through the hole. And after that, just tighten it up. You can mess around with this as much as you'd like, but after that, finesse the rest of the laces. So that way it won't be too tight. It'll be pretty loose a bit. And yeah, that's all there is to it. The dead stock knot. So first up, I'm gonna wear the B455 Flare Denim from Minimal, and for the shirt, I'm gonna wear the Thrilling Ranch Graphic Tee, a really nice and casual fit. For the accessories, I go with my usual chain, earrings, bracelet, and rings. And of course, whenever I'm new to a certain shoe, I gotta do an all black fit. I'm wearing the D152 cargo straight denim for the shirt. This is the second iteration of the everyday long sleeve tee. And like I always say, this fit works for every shoe I own. And by the way, if there's anything from the minimal website that you like, you can use my discount code SANI15. Now, if you enjoy content like this and want to see more, this is definitely the place for you. I do other sneaker videos, clothing videos, lacing videos, and yeah. Anything else relating to sneakers or clothing content, it's all here on the channel. I would really appreciate it if y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, or if you haven't yet. The grind is not stopping. Comment down below your favorite lacing style or fit from today's video, and... Yeah. I hope all of y'all have an amazing day, stay safe, and see you next time.